the best correspondence, whether it's positive or negative, is going to be the shortest, the clearest, and the, um, the one with the uh, most understandable message. Today I want to talk about letters of complaint. Unfortunately, people or situations don't always meet with our expectations going into those situations and it rises to the level where somebody needs to know about it. Whether it is poor customer service, whether it is not following through on a promise, whether it is a defective um, item, or uh, some other type of situation that is uh, less than desirable. To write a letter of complaint is first going to uh, require you to have some type of a feeling um, of either you need to notify someone about it or you need some relief or something done as a result. So there's gonna be a level of emotion. So in the context of drafting this, you might draft the first one. When I recommend whenever you have a heightened feelings about something, draft it, then throw that one away. You might go back and, and identify the various points that you wanna make, but get the emotion out of it. Um, unnecessary superlatives and running on and on and on and on is what will come of a, some type, something that's overly emotional and it's not going to be received with the level of um, attention that you are that you are des desiring and that you are you are deserving of so you want to address it to the proper party the proper department um, not necessarily go to the top of the the tree, but go to the appropriate party for complaint, uh, the appropriate manager of the department, um, so that, that that has oversight over this particular area that you are addressing. You want it to be short, um, limit it to two pages if possible. If you have examples or paperwork that's separate. You don't need to write all of that information in the letter, attach that with it. Pictures, um, repair bills, um, things like that can be attached as an appendix. It doesn't need to all be restated in the letter. Just refer to it in the letter that these are also attached. So it's going to be short and direct. Um, say who you are in the introductory paragraph and what the letter is about. Is it a part? Is it an experience? Is it you know, what, what is it about? This is who I am, this is where I work or where I live, and this is what I'm, I'm writing to you about something that happened on this day involving whatever, okay? Then the next part is gonna be the facts. What was supposed to happen, what did happen, what you were told, what you later found out, what, what is the gist of things, what are the basic facts that are needed to uh, be expressed? Who, what, where, when, and how? Then, what is the purpose for the letter? You've said what, who you're writing about and what happened. Is this just information for, uh, because it's been resolved but you need to report this? Or are you expecting some type of relief? Is it relief that you need because of a warranty situation? Is it relief because you were unfairly treated? What is it that you're asking for? Put that at the end, be very clear about it. If uh, there's some time component in there, um, put the time component. Don't be ambivalent or ambiguous about it. Be clear and definite as to what the next step is, if one is expected, um, will be. Then, now, while we want to be clear about these things, things to keep in mind to not put in the letter, besides over-emotionalizing or having it be run on and too lengthy, um, you don't want to exaggerate and be over the top. You'll immediately be dismissed or upon any type of scrutiny, you'll be dismissed and not taken seriously. You might be called a whack job, a kook. Uh, it'll be disregarded. So don't exaggerate. And then finally, uh, while you may be asking for some type of relief, whether it turns out to be justified, unjustified, but what you're asking for, you don't want to be mean and you don't want to be threatening. Never threaten uh, physical bodily harm or, or, or something like that. Just state what you want without threats. And in that situation, um, then if you follow these steps, then your complaint should address the right person for the right reason, and hopefully you'll get the right result.